bird calls struggled as he trudged his way through the cold, leaf-bare snow. Every part of his body shivered. Frostbite nipped at his pelt. This harsh leaf bear. It was like hell, a place of no stars. They had sent down a sickness that had taken away everyone he loved. His mate, his mother and father, his kit, his leader, his entire clan. Bird call was all that was left. And now, bird call collapsed. The howling leaf bear wind continued to roar along with ice and snow that seemed to cover the whole territories in an ever-ending blanket of white. This was how he was going to die. As his vision began to grow dark, he could imagine the faces of his mother and father, his little sister and her family, everyone he cared about, even cats in another clan. They were all gone, and he was going to join them soon. But as Bird Call began to fade to sleep, Another voice seemed to call to him. Now is not your time to die, bird call. Hey, Elemental Masters, and welcome to another video. And today, we're doing a very different video. Welcome to Cats of All Lands by Zinnia, or whoever the original owner was. Um, this is a Warrior Cats game on Scratch, and is heavily, uh, the challenge I'm doing today is heavily inspired by Sarah Pixel's biologist series. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. She hasn't done a lot for it lately. If you guys enjoy this, I may do a spin-off series of her series. Um, leaving off, um, starting off from like where she left off in season two. And just, but it'll be like a little fan spin-off. But um, anyway, we are here with Bird Star in Bird Clan. So as you saw in the little intro, I had a lot of fun making that, by the way, even if it was just a still image. I think I had more fun putting in the effects and doing the voiceover. <laughs> but um, yeah, a great leaf bear sickness basically killed everybody in Bird Clan. Uh, well, Bird, Bird Star's clan. And the other clans are unknown, but they were all killed as well. And he's basically the only one who, can su who, who survived. And he was about to die himself until Star Clan called to him and gave him nine lives. Now, I've made like a lot of lists for rules and stuff. I, if you guys are interested, let me know. I will put a link and stuff in the second episode if you guys want to see more of this. Um, but for the most time, this is just a pilot just to see if you guys enjoy this. Um, as you can see, originally I want leaders to have a level hunting of 10, but Birdstar is the exception because otherwise this clan would be completely dead. So, first thing we need to do is get him to level 10. He's a very young leader. Um, at the moment, there's not really much going on. But we are going to go and see what this video is going to do for Birdstar. And we're just going to see what happens. I do have a lot of rules. For example, at the moment, it is Leaf Bear. But once seven days pass... Um, I think it's seven days. Let me check my list. Uh, seven days per season. So, after seven days... Well, we'll say we'll do four more days per season. Uh, we'll do four more just because the leaf bear has been going on for a bit. And it's still leaf bear. So we'll do four more. And yeah, we'll go on to green leaf. So with that being said, um, let me quickly read through the rules. So a new leader must be level 10 uh, before inviting cats into his clan. The hunting events will not happen until there's like three plus cats in the clan. So what a hunting event is, is that that's really all you can do in this game is create cats, kill cats, uh, get cats to be mates and all that. And then you also have um, going out into the forest and hunting prey. But sometimes the prey can be a little tricky to catch. So I have a system where if I miss prey, I roll a die and either nothing happens or something bad happens. And the bad thing can trigger an event. And after a full day of training and whatnot, I can do a day skip, and then I knew to do a day skip roll. And the day skip roll could be like, everyone sleeps peacefully, nothing happens, or, again, it triggers an event. So that's how we're going to do this. Um, if you guys want to know more, I will put a link to the rules in the description. Um, so you guys can read through it, and yeah, we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's get started. First thing we need to do is get Bird Star to level 10. Okay. 
Let's see. So this is the bird clan territory. Right now, it's really hard to see prey. Oh, there's it. There, go, go, go. So yeah, there we go. I caught a vol. Uh, we're not going to do the whole something bad happens event before we get more cats. That's one of the rules, just to make things a little simpler. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. But usually, if you see prey and you try and catch it, but you miss it. Um, then you have to roll a die to see whether everything's fine, they just missed it, and they'll swear, say, if you warrior cat swears, or if they actually injure themselves. And it could be from a minor injury such as, okay, I got a little bad paw, to heckin' darting over the head edge of a ravine and heckin' dying. <laughs> so once we get Bird to level 10, there we go. So now he is officially a full level leader. <laughs> And I guess what we can do is go around and just explore a little bit, see where our territories lie. Yes, Bolt, are you here to see me record? Excuse my dog, he gets very noisy. Uh, we have enough prey for now. Um, oh, hello. Who's this? <gasps> um, hello. <laughs> Called Night Whisper. Oh, is this a rogue? What is going on? You! You look interesting. Can I talk to you? I know everything about the forest. Oh! Oh, this is his territory. Um, hi? <laughs> Actually, there's no way to tell whether or not this is a boy or a girl. I'm trying to record Bolt. So, this is interesting. So, I guess this is Night Whisper's territory. Um, or I did not know. <laughs> Uh, we're just- we're just gonna leave him be. We're gonna leave him be and keep exploring. Oh, another one! Hello, you're Bubble Branch. Hello, Bubble Branch. What do you have to say? Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe Birdstar was like, I just ran into another cat. And maybe she comes up and goes, hi, I- this is my territory. I know everything about it. And Birdstar's like, really? Because I just met another cat earlier who said he knows everything. And I'm like, and she- and they'll probably like, okay, so maybe I don't know everything. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Hello, Bubble Branch. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, these are so cool. There's other cats wandering around. This is good. And they've got warrior cat names or something. Oh, that bull just jump into my feet. That was weird. <laughs> okay, so Bird Star has met new cats. Perhaps they'll join the clan in the future. There's another one, Hulk Whisper. Oh, are you? <laughs> I mean, there's prey right there. You're going to get it? You can get that map. You know what? I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh! I just realized we've reached level a hun eleven hunting. That is pretty impressive. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that was a mistake. Uh, let's talk with Hulk a little bit. Let's see. We all need to accept ourselves the way we. Oh, <laughs> good, good words, Hulk Whisper. Good, good words. Uh, let's see. Uh, tr let's see. Um, trying to think about what the heck I need to do. So, let's do a mini event. So, let's see. Um, well, I guess we can't do a mini event unless we miss prey or something. Um, let's just go back to camp. And I'm going to quickly roll the die and see if anything happens to our dear bird star in the night. Okay, I am back. Nothing happened. So, let's go out. And uh, we're going to go out into the forest again. And, oh, there's breakfast. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's wander around a little. Oh. Hello. Who are you? <gasps> Wait, is this the... <gasps> Birdstar knows this cat. Birdstar couldn't believe his eyes. Ahead of him was the leader of his past clan. White Star was the leader before he was born. In the stories, he was cruel and vicious. And the snarling look on the Tom's face told the bird star that the stories were true. So Fernpon chose a weakling kit to lead the new generation of clans. White Star's mirror came out like he was spinning on crow food. The Star Clan Tom flicked his long white tail, his back fur spiked like thorns in an elder's bedding. What a mistake that was! Bird Star felt fear creep into his pelt, but he stood his ground. You would rather your clan died, White Star? This is not my clan! The former leader was quick to respond with much malice. Grotto Clan was my clan, and it was strong. My cats would never have died in such a pitiful way. 
We were strong, and we would have stayed strong had Fernpont not interfered. Birdstar tried his best to keep his composure. The harmful words of the leader made him feel pity for his dear leader, Fernstar. This cat wasn't even calling her by her title, only calling her by what her warrior name originally was. You don't know that, Birdstar meowed rudely. No cat could have survived a leaf bear like that. There was no food. Every puddle or pool of water was frozen over, and the herbs had frostbite. I didn't even survive. Fernstar saved me, giving me eight lives to ensure the clan's legacy goes on. Whitestar hissed in the Red Tom's direction. You will fail. Mark my words, burnt kit. I'll be watching you always, and I look forward to the day your pathetic little clan rots into the ground. So, first bit of plot. So yes, that was White Star. He was the leader of Rotto Clan, Bird Cl Birdstar's original clan, before he was exiled, and Fernstar, Birdstar's leader, became leader. Fernstar is the one who was calling to him in the intro and gave him eight lives to save the clan. So if you're wondering why eight, Birdstar has already died. He died from the sickness, he's died from the leaf bear, just like the rest of his clan. And it wouldn't be fair to give a leader ten lives. <laughs> um, so yeah, that happened, and I can feel like Birdstar is going to be more determined to build his clan. So, we are going to explore more and see if maybe or maybe not we can start, like, trying to figure out if there are cats to invite to Bird Clan. Oh, here is someone else. Hello. This clan with on- Oh! Um, you know about the clans! Hello, I just see what you say. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so there's another cat, Snail Wing. These cats are so good. If you guys want, be sure to comment below who you want to join the clan. Um, we do need to get some cats in, though. I think Birdstar would maybe try and get to know the cats and see who's fit for the clan. We will see White Star around. Uh, it's best just to ignore him, but... Um, I think there will be a bit of trouble in the future regarding White Star. But for right now, um, Bird's probably just going to finish exploring the territories. And um, yeah, so let's figure this out. There's not going to be a lot happening for this first episode since Bird Star is all alone. He can be a bit lonely, so let's just say he comes over here and eats some prey or something. Um, not much is going to happen for this first video. Usually when we have more cats, we'd send them out hunting, we'd get certain warriors to certain levels hunting, um, and then there'd be different events as well. But since Bird Star's our only cat, we can't do the event thing yet. Um, let's skip a day and then do an event for that. Oh, I don't know what I did. Let's skip a day and, um, yeah, let's see if anything happens. Okay, and Bird Star had no problems at all. Perhaps he maybe had a little bit of trouble speaking, uh, speaking, sleeping due to White, White Star's, um, event. But it is now day three, and you know what? I think I'm going to try and find a cat. There's White Star again, keeping an eye on us. <laughs> uh, I was so close to camp, though. Uh, let's explore. Oh, that was prey there. We don't need it at the moment. We are fine. We're level 17! I didn't even notice. Um, let's see. Oh man, this is crazy. <laughs> Ooh, bubble branch, there we go. Looking at the stars at night makes me happy. Oh, yeah, I like the stars too. Um, let's see if we can talk a little more. Slungbirds at dawn. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna see. Um, let me just roll a die here and see if maybe we can convince Bubble Branch to join the clan. Bird Star lay in his den. After his encounter with White Star, he was more than determined to find cats to join Bird Clan and prove to the former Tom that they would be strong. He had spoken to a she-cat out in the woods, a brown and white dappled Molly, who seemed unsure of his request to join the clan. She said she would think about it and then left. So Bird Star did the only thing he could do for now. He returned to camp and took a squirrel to his den to eat. He sighed, stepping out into clan camp, and what he saw next shocked him. His jaws dropped open. His leftover prey fell into the snow with a thud as he eyed his new clanmate, sitting in his camp, smiling. We are back, and yes, Bubble Branch has joined the clan. She's not as skilled as her leader, 
but we now have two cats in the clan and I'm really excited to have our first cat. Uh, we won't do any ranks just yet, so we'll have a few more cats and you guys will be able to choose who Deputy is and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, we are able to convince our first cat to join. This is really exciting. Uh, there are some things I want to work on. For example, I still don't know what I'm going to do for like figuring out who's going to be mates with who and who's going to have like end up being having kits and stuff or if there's going to be kits in the wild. I don't have a generator for that. So if you guys have any ideas on how to help me with that, please comment below because I'd really appreciate it. Um, but as of right now, we have Wordstar and Bubble Branch. And one thing I should admit, uh, some of the cats in this video belong to friends of mine from my Warrior Cats Phoenix's Dawn roleplay, which involves four clans. Tropical Clan, Ashton Clan, Bramble Clan, and Mist Clan. And I basically asked them, hey guys, you want to do a video? Uh, do you want your cats in it? And they said yes. So um, if you guys want your cats in the video, comment below your character. Describe them and uh, tell me a bit about them and I will add them into the world. So that maybe Bardstar will run into them. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do now is I think what's going to happen is we're going to leave things there. So we ended things really well. We have Birdstar, Bubble Branch. White Star is out there. He's who knows what he's doing. <laughs> but I guess next episode we will try and hire more cats. And maybe we'll do some stuff with Bubble Branch. Hopefully we'll get a medicine cat, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to, um, I don't know, go check out Sari Pixel Biologist. Her series is so much fun. I love her characters. I miss her characters. Um, again, I might do another Sari that Sari spin-off with all those characters and whatnot. Um, but that being said, uh, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you all in the next video. Ninja, go!